As many of you know, there was a piece of legislation in Congress that had bipartisan support, and the individuals who led this effort, Ro Khanna in the House, Bernie Sanders, and Republican Senator from Utah, Mike Lee in the Senate, they managed to accomplish something that I was skeptical would happen. They got this bipartisan piece of legislation passed in the House and in the Senate. Now, whenever I hear the word bipartisan, I typically cringe because that usually means that both parties have teamed up to screw us over. But in this instance, they came up with a fantastic piece of legislation that even if it had some flaws, they came up with a piece of legislation that would save lives potentially. It would end U.S. military support to Saudi Arabia. And this is important because Saudi Arabia currently is committing genocide in Yemen. They are doing literal war crimes and we are supplying them with the arms to commit these atrocities. So what this bill sought to do was cut off that support, say, look, we're no longer going to be complicit in the war crimes that you're committing. You don't get any more weapons. You don't get aid militarily. You don't get intelligence. You don't get anything from us if you're going to continue doing genocide. And since it passed, it got to Donald Trump's desk. Can you guess what he did? He chose to veto it. He vetoed it. This guy is scum. He vetoed it like the bitch that he is, because as Tulsi Gabbard called it, he's Saudi Arabia's bitch. He wouldn't even stop the weapons deal that he agreed to, to give to Saudi Arabia after it was proven that they murdered a journalist. And now he's saying, you know what, Saudi Arabia? Commit genocide. We'll still give you the bombs that you're going to be dropping on school buses in Yemen. I mean, I, I don't know what to say about this. This is someone who campaigned as an anti-interventionist. And here he is giving Saudi Arabia arms that they're using to kill innocent civilians. What a disgusting, morally reprehensible piece of shit he is. To all of Donald Trump's supporters, how do you reconcile this in your mind? He campaigned as an anti-interventionist, and those of us who were astute knew that he was full of shit because he was having secret closed-door meetings with defense contractors, but nonetheless, he still presented himself as a non-interventionist, and he just said, we're going to intervene by being complicit, by remaining complicit in genocide. How do you reconcile this fact in your mind? Or does the cult of personality still stand? I mean, what boggles my mind is that usually if there's a cult of personality, it's around someone who's charismatic or charming or actually has something insightful to say. But you're supporting someone whose brain is melting away. Like he's delusional. Like I genuinely think that he's not mentally fit to serve. Because you just have to listen to the guy and he contradicts himself every five minutes. So the question is, how do you continue to support this war criminal? How do you continue to support someone who is Saudi Arabia's fucking little bitch? How do you continue to support that? It's insane. He just went back on one of his most crucial campaign promises to do non-intervention. He said, you know, our leaders are stupid. But because this idiot doesn't have a brain, because he surrounds himself with neocons like John Bolton and Mike Pompeo, he just goes along with whatever they say, like a little bitch puppet that he is. And now he vetoed a bill that would have saved lives potentially. Now, it's not that surprising, to be honest, but there was a glimmer of hope that since, you know, because this was bipartisan, maybe it would pass. But I started to lose hope when Mike Pompeo started to freak out about this vote when, you know, it was clear that Donald Trump would never do anything to jeopardize the United States' relationship with Saudi Arabia. So they can officially do anything. They could kill journalists. They can do genocide. Donald Trump will be A-OK -okay with it. How disgusting is that? I mean, it's just, it's gross. We have no morals, and yet this dipshit cries at the top of his fucking lungs about human rights in Venezuela. Get the fuck out of here. You don't give a fuck about Venezuelan human rights. You don't care about human rights at all. Because you're complicit now in genocide. You're going to have that blood on your hands, Donald Trump, for the rest of your life. And you are directly culpable now. Personally so. 
So this war criminal needs to be tried at the Hague when he gets out. 